Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a functional equation. We have f of x plus square root of x squared plus 1 equals x over x plus 1 and we're supposed to find f of x. So we're going to be using a substitution method here and this type of substitution method is also used with integrals. I believe it's called Euler's substitution. So let's go ahead and start by calling this whole thing t. And the meaning of that is, since I'm trying to find f of x, it would make sense if I could just call the whole thing something and so that I can simplify the right hand side. But as is, this is not going to give me f of x, obviously, because if you write it, it's going to be f of t equals x over x plus 1. So this is not really what I'm looking for because I do need f of x and this is f of t, but it's in terms of x, so on and so forth. So what I need to do is I need to be able to replace x with something in terms of t on the right hand side so that at the end I can turn it into f of x. Okay, so to be able to do this, we're basically going to take two big steps. Okay, what is the first step? So first step is going to involve setting this equal to what it is and then working off of that. So our first step basically involves the following. I'm gonna set x plus square root of x squared plus one equal to t. And then of course my goal is to solve for x here so that I can write x in terms of t on the right hand side. So what am I going to do? I'll first isolate the radical. So in order to do that I'd like to subtract x from both sides. Let's go ahead and do that. And this is probably what looks more like Euler substitution for integrals. And obviously this is a really good method because you're going to see that it simplifies. So we're going to square both sides here, x squared plus 1 equals t squared minus 2tx plus x squared. Now the good thing about this substitution is that x squared cancels out, so we get rid of the quadratic. Let's go ahead and cancel out the t, I mean the x squared, so that we end up with this expression. Now, in this expression, so I have something like this. 1 equals t squared minus 2tx. Am I trying to solve for t? No, because t is already solved for here. So what I'm trying to do here is solve for x. So it would make sense if we had the x terms on one side. So let's go ahead and add 2tx to both sides and subtract 1. That should give me something like this. 2tx is equal to t squared minus 1. And since my goal is to solve for x here, it will make sense to divide both sides by 2t. I can't make the 2 u joke, right? So, because I use that t variable, that's fine. So that's a 2t. And if I divide both sides by 2t, they're going to they're gonna cancel out and we're going to get x in terms of t. So this is basically the first step. So we were trying to get x in terms of t and we did. Okay, that's my first step. Now my second step involves substitution. Of course, the first step was also substitution. But if you go back to the first step, you notice that we named the whole thing t and then we solve for x. Now the second step basically is substituting this expression on the right hand side. But let's go ahead and remember first what our original expression looked like, right? Our original expression looked like the following, f of x plus the square root of x squared plus 1 and that equals x over x plus 1. Okay, now what am I going to do? I'm going to use this expression here. I'm going to replace x with t squared minus 1 over 2t on both sides. But when I do it on the left hand side inside the parentheses, I already know that it's going to give me a t here because that was my original substitution, right? So I do know that this is going to be a t automatically. So what I need to do is replace the x with what it is on the right hand side. Let's go ahead and do that. So this gives us f of t is equal to x, which is going to be replaced by t squared minus 1 over 2t over t squared minus 1 over 2t plus 1. Okay, so this is my f of t. Let's go ahead and simplify this. And when you're trying to simplify these kinds of things, it's pretty much the same thing, but I would like to, instead of making a common denominator, I would like to multiply the top and the bottom by 2t because I believe it's going to take us to the result faster. And from here, we're, we're going to be getting f of t is equal to, 2t is going to cancel out, t squared minus 1 in the numerator. And the bottom, when you distribute the 2t, 2t is going to cancel out. It's going to leave us with t squared minus 1, and 1 times 2t is 2t. Obviously, I can write it as t squared minus 1 
over t squared plus 2t minus 1. Of course, I do want to find f of x, so let's go ahead and replace t with x on both sides, which is a very easy step to do because you can use pretty much any variable on both sides of the equation as long as you use the same variable. So now replace t with x and this is going to give us the answer. All right. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care. And before I say bye-bye, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.